Greetings everyone, what is up? It's me again, Tim Prime. One with another video review. If you're on this video review, it's me based upon Transformers Classics Optimus Prime. And uh, he has a little bit, lops, little, there we go, that's a lot better. Now, well, that's a little bit better. That's better. Now, I know, now, uh, uh, from what all I was saying a while back about my video reviews, um, I will be doing brand new video new video reviews on these guys right here because i remember doing classics prime four years like four years ago back in 2018 after i had moved back up to my home state and i will say this i wanted to redo this video again because that video was just flat out bad so this is my attempt so i'm attempting to just redo certain videos to where they are much better so let's go ahead and take a quick look at him real fast Taking a quick look at Classics Optimus right here. Really amazing work and detailing right there. I did buy him off of my friend from that owns the comic book shop. And I must say, this is really, this is a really good looking figure right here. I do love this All right here. It took me a bit of time to do it, I mean, to do this video review because I was looking for this. Went downstairs to clean up a good bit. So sorted a lot of stuff on out. And I finally found his smokestacks. But yes, really nice figure. You can see like a reveal of the shield right there. I remember that line right there, a reveal of the shield. He has like the little rep symbol right there. Shows the Autobot symbol right there. And on the other side, no rub symbol at all. Really great looking figure. I do believe the reason why they call him Classics Office this book is because of how he's supposed to resemble his Gen 1 look. But this is not the Gen 1 look. If it was a Gen 1 look, this would be cut off right there. But I'm glad they made this as Classics Optimus. I love the transformation on him. I just love uh, out of how they have him to transform and such. Really amazing work of art right here. I love the mode and details of him right here. Really great, really fantastic. And these wheels, as you all know, can roll. These are really good rolling wheels right here. And if you are wondering about the background, no, I still don't know. A proper spot. I am not gonna go into the into the restroom over there because quite frankly, I know the tiles are white, but quite frankly, I would rather do my video reviews out here. But yeah, really amazing looking figure right here. Really amazing. I do like this guy right here. I love what they did with him. Really fantastic. Oh boy, sorry about that. My arm is a little. It's hurting me a little bit. But yeah, really nice, really nice. And I love the Gen 1 color scheme as well as the silver paint applications on, the, on each side of the vehicle mode. And my daughter is in here right now. What are you doing? What you doing? She wanted to come in here to see me, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> daddy. Daddy, I heard that one. Yeah, I heard that one too. My little girl said daddy. She's been trying to put some words together and stuff. She's not even two yet either. Pop, pop, pop. It's not like she said pop pop. Where's pop pop? Okay. Are you looking at the camera? You looking at the camera? You wondering what I'm doing? I think oh. she's curious. Oh. Or after a ball. Yeah, I think she's after a ball. Okay. Hey. Yeah, yeah, do you want me to kind of show your ball on camera? Excuse me, I forgot to grab this little ball on up for her. Oh, you want to show it again to the audience? There it is. And, re and it matches, closely matches, Optimus Prime's color scheme. There you go, sweetie. <laughs> I love eating your cheeks. Oh, 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 oh. I love eating those cheeks, those little cheekies. And also, I haven't done that in a while. Hi, Come oh. here, sweetie. <laughs> Want to go see mommy with that? I think she'd rather see you. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Hang on, everyone. Be right back. Yeah, she found her little um little dancing robot toy that uh, that a friend of ours sent for all the way over from uh, from from. Ireland or Scott, I think Scotland or Ireland. Oh boy. <laughs> right now, well, yeah, she began playing with that right there. But yeah, let's go ahead. But yeah, 
loving all this right here. You can definitely tell this is the gun up here, as well as the smokestack back here. I do love of how they have these things in disguise as, as both the smokestacks and up here. Not for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I mean, I'm thinking about what my cousin would say, but I'm not going to go into any details with that right there. <laughs> yeah, really amazing. I do love the little bit of yellow right back there, especially with the headlights right here. Although I think they could have did a little bit more with the paint applications on this right here. But yeah, really nice looking figure. Really nice. I do like the, with what they did with him, especially the like. You can definitely tell the differences in the windshield right here. Transparent blue windshield right there. Transparent blue. And um, I think these are transparent as well, or they might have. And it's been a bit of time, but once we get the trans him transformed, we'll try and take a quick look at that right there. But yeah, really nice. But the only, well, unfortunately, the only, like, one of the problems with this figure is that he does not have a matrix of leadership. He does not have one of those. And also, I know you all are wondering, where is his, um, big trailer at? <laughs> I do not have a big trailer for him. And plus, I'd say that they would have more made that for the, um, Classics Ultra Magnus. I got, if I, if I, if I can, I'm going to try and find that. Right now, let's go ahead and do some science comparisons with him both first. Here it is with Earthrise Leader Optimus Prime. Here he is with Armada Beast Con Class Optimus Prime. And we're gonna pull this camera back a wee bit and then just zoom back a bit as well. A little bit up. There we go. There we are. Now for um no, let's see where we're gonna put Naval Commander. We'll put Naval Commander with put Naval Commander right there and place Earthrise Prime right there. Or just place him right behind him. So yeah. You guys can get an idea of how he looks right, right there. And there we go. And there we go. And there we are. We are really a good figure. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Stuff in my throat. Stuff in my throat. Yeah. Now for the transformation process. Really simplistic, really simplistic. Let's see here. I will admit, I was trying to figure out whether the figures to do a size comparison of him with, but I was thinking, like, you know what? I'm not going to worry too much about that. So let's go ahead, flip this panel on back right there. So this panel over here. And just untap the sides right here. Also, I almost forgot, I've got to remove the weapons. But there's one, and here's the other, and it reveals his head right there little tap little slot right there there we go and just pull this back right there there we go have the side right here there we go here we are rotate this on back pull his head upwards now what we're trying to do next is this pull this right on back if i can remember if i did this correctly this will have to come up right there. Oh, there we go. That's right. That's right. There we go. That's how you do it. Now, what you want to do with this is you want to try and to adjust. Well, don't adjust that just yet. Go ahead, rest his head down right there. Rotate the entire upper, his entire upper body around. What the? Okay, that just scared me right there. I think my dog was just scratching, like scratching up against the bed or something. There we go. His entire assembly is now rotated around. Go ahead, pull his on down, rotate his legs on down. And split his legs right here. Bring his feet on up. That's the legs done up with. Bring this one back a little. And just Try to fold this up into here and push. There we go. Had to adjust that. You have to adjust this one up right here to get his wheels to go up in there. That way you can have that right there. Put that here. Go ahead and we're going to fold out his fist and just fold this. Yeah, for a second. I know I just did this the other day. Here we go. There we go. 
so far ish we are oh, there you go that's a lot better oh boy i know my floors are carpeted but i'm i am standing on my knees on a carpeted floor i have to readjust myself Get his arm up, get this arm down, let go, fold his fist on over, now go ahead and take this entire assembly, fold this on over, there we go, there we are, there we are, rotate that around, and rotate this around right here, so like that without a frame, there we go, there we are, I'm on the left side of my table, having to transform him. Bring his arm up right here. I'm gonna check on his fists. Feels like oh, I think that's her. I think you can have it either to where his the front of his vehicle, to the sides of his vehicle motor right here or not. And also for the transparent window, yes, he has transparent windows right here, but he has some faux window pieces right here, but that's easily passable. Like like you can just easily ignore that. Right there, and there we have Optimus. And there we have Classics Optimus in his robot mode. Just gonna go ahead, fold that, and bring up the camera. Sorry about the shaking. Oh, I think my dog might be tired again. Hang out for a second. BRB. Okay, they're good to go so far. They are good to go in there. She just and our daughter was just being a bit cranky. So now let's go ahead and configure these weapons. Two and out here. You know what? I'm hang out for a second. There we go. Had to really. Slams all my stuff down so they can stand up properly. There we go. Oh, sorry. If you guys did not see it, well, it's very simplistic. Take this, fold it up right here. There we go. Rotate that on up right there. There we are. And that can go into one of his hands, doesn't matter which one. There we go. Uh, for this one right here, very simplistic. Just being a full, just fold this right here this will tab in together the little tabs right there slot right there there we go very simplistic and there we are there are his weapons as well and i must say they have done a really great job with him still really amazing and hang up for a second let me get some light in here not as much light as i want uh, i gotta replace one of those bulbs I forgot one of the bulbs is not as bright as it should be. But yes, here you have Classic Prime in his robot mode. Really great looking guy. Really amazing. I really do like this right here. They did a really fantastic job, especially with the head sculpt on him. Really nice. Nice little faux abdominal section right there. And also, I've almost forgot his little knees. His little knee pads need to rotate on up right there. So there we go. There we are really great figure I love how they made him now with these arms now with these things right here the side of the vehicle you can just like probably rotate them right back to right there or rotate them up here whichever way you want to do it but yeah they did a really nifty job with him right there really nice i do like that right there with this with this version of him really amazing work on him great engineering and also, I do love this little back end something right here, especially with how you can like store this gun right here. Let's go ahead and untap that from right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and transform this off camera. This should only take a couple of seconds, and there we have it. Voila! And just place this up to right here if I can. There we go. A little loose from the cleaning I did a while back. I haven't really touched them on it much since then. But yeah, you can definitely do this right here with him. And can I help you? Oh, did you bring my stuff? Did you bring my did you bring my, my transform stuff with you? <laughs> uh oh, just a second. Okay. There we go. Hello. So you can have like a bit of a shield behind his head so that way he can so that way he doesn't really get hit by anyone or anything. BRB again. Okay. 
Okay, now back to the video real fast. <laughs> but yeah. Like, you can just have it to where he's firing at the Decepticons, and, and if anyone tries to get him from behind, like for example, Starscream, maybe Soundwave, Shockwave, or whoever, what have ya, then he would be protected by this thing right here. Or well, if you need an extra arsenal, but just in case, he could just bring this on up over here, or he could just, or you could just untie this from right here, if, yeah, there we go. And just probably place it onto his, just like maybe fold his, if no, you can't fold his fist on back. I was about to say you can fold his, like just try and fold his fist on back, but since you can't, just try and put it into it right there. You can't really have it right there, but yeah, I was about to say you could probably just use this as a shield. But yeah, they do not have a zero. You can do that right there. You know, if you hit him the floor properly, it has to be as a gun. And there we have it. There we have it. Really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and take out his little weapons. If you're all wondering if these are even remotely um, special effects compatible. And there goes my little girl. Oh boy. Yabby. Okay, crazy stuff still happening in this place. And I'm still trying to take care of some stuff. I'll explain later on. But yes, now for size comparisons with this guy right here. Also, let me readjust his arms. Also, before I forget anything else, with him, for, for, for like, <laughs> for his legs and his arms, bring his legs on up and back, but they're being a tad bit blocked by this right here. It's a tad bit. And with his knees, you can bend him right there with his knees. Really nice bending. Really nice. Also, no ankle tiltage, but you can... Do this with his feet, but that's only for the transformation gimmick. His arms, you can rotate around like so. Same with an arm, sw arm swivel or bicep swivel. You can rotate. You go, no, you can't really rotate his fist around at all. Excuse me. And so, yeah, that's pretty much like it right there. Also, if you want to, you can have him to do. The splits! You can do the splits! Now, for the size comparisons, once again, we're going to bring in our mod up Optimus Prime right here. He's just a hair, just a tiny, tiny bit taller, just a tiny bit taller than Op now, our mod Optimus. Here is Leader Class Earthrise Optimus. I think he's a, just a tad taller, just a, just a tad taller. Now for the MP, M -M -M, the third party one. He is the tallest out of them all. He is the tallest one out of them all. So there you have him right there. <laughs> all of them right there. And so apologies for the lighting. I forgot I need a new light bulb. But yeah, real nice size comparisons right there. There we go. There we are. Now that we have done now that right there, I hope you all have enjoyed this video review. Now, for any other future videos, I am wanting to do one on Meg Tyranno, but I'm still having to look for Armada, Megatron, and Tidal Wave. Either they mis got misplaced, or my follow all somehow lost them before we really moved over and over here. So I have to check the vehicle and out to make sure that if he is, to, to, to make sure if he is in there or not. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I have to do right there. There's a lot of stuff. So yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you all have, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to both me and Wishmaker. Also, look me on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord, and so on. And also, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Tipper1. I'll be signing off right now. So, peace out.